Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mastering the Game with your boy, The Yellis, man. Y'all know what time it is, bro. We back at it again with another episode, episode 23. I can't believe it, bro. Like, we really on episode 23, y'all. Like, we are 23 chapters in. I just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. But we have some more things in store, some more um, adversity within our journey, some, some, accomplishments within our journey that we all gonna see man i just can't wait for y'all to see it bro please man y'all like comment and subscribe the likes is gonna get it in the algorithm the subscribers is going you know what i'm saying shoot the channel up like just help us out man help us out help us grow on the north side of the city man we're gonna keep this train rolling these guys deserve it these guys have been working hard and i believe in these guys man I, these guys they're they're on their way bro and we're gonna keep this train rolling like i said bro without further ado man Let's get to it! We're in mid-December already. It's crazy how fast the time is gone. At this point, I believe we've been battle-tested against some of the best teams. Right now, we're learning how to win. That's something you go through as you continue to find your identity. Everything is a process. We have to understand that we can't fold. We have to understand that constant growth will take us to our peak. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mastering the Game. The boarders are still learning what it takes to win at a high level as we host the Big Dave Classic. As we continue to grow, so does our potential to win a state championship. Let's get to work. You camera shot. What's up, bro? That tight ass shit. What's up, KJ? Let's get off. You feeling good today? You about y'all third on them? All on them? On them? Wake Negroes? Fifty? Fifty? Sixty? 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 Yeah. Okay. 
y'all. So we have a tournament every year called the Big Dave Classic. And it's, it's just a wonderful tournament, man. I was a part of it my senior year, but I got hurt. Uh, so I couldn't participate in none of the basketball games, nothing like that. But since my senior year until now, this tournament has been going on. It's been really, really good for the city. Um, just to see some quality teams, man. And the first night of the tournament, we had Villeplat, right? And for the last few years, Villeplat has been giving us a little bit of trouble. Uh, it's just, you know, we have to come in focused. I mean, we prepared the proper way. Uh, we got after in practice. And we understood that, hey, Villeplat has been giving us some problems. We have to come in focused. We had a slow start, but once you know, we began to pick up the momentum, pick up our effort defensively, which is the most important thing, we kind of got things going. Um, let me tell you something right now, but Tyler Harris, he has been playing the exact way I envisioned him playing this year. Bringing the ball up the floor, getting guys in the right spots, finding open teammates, getting to his shot, smooth, nothing forced. Bruh, he plays like that for us on a consistent basis. For the last four or five games, he's been playing like that. And if he plays like that for us on a consistent basis, it's going to be real tough to beat us. But I'm not going to toot his horn or nothing like that because I want him to stay hungry. Stay hungry, bro. Stay in the lab. Keep doing what you're doing, right? You, you still want to, you know what I'm saying, stay on the right course. But, man, just just... Get real spooky, man. It's all look real confident out there. Zion, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Just keep getting to the rim. Keep getting to that mid-range. Every keep doing what you're doing. Everybody is filling their roles um, in a pretty good fashion right now, and I really can't complain. Um, but just the Villeplat game, bro, we just have to understand that teams are looking to beat us. Like, there's no team that's going to come in the gym and be like, oh, we can't beat. No. You're going to get teams' best effort. I'm going to keep saying this over and over again. You're going to keep getting teams' best effort. We have to understand that. So as a result, we have to bring our best effort every night. Every time we're locked in defensively, we're, there's no team that I feel like that can, that can beat us. Every time we're locked in defensively, we're so tough. In the gaps, in the right spots, taking charges. It's tough, man. Don Trayman's doing a really good job still. Trey has been a man on the boards. Just We just got to keep, we got to stay hungry, y'all. Like We have to stay hungry. We have to continue to work. Um, but all in all, Ville Platt was a good win for us. Um, the fact that we lost him last year in the tournament and the fact that we bounced back this year was pretty big. The guys showed out, the guys came to play, and I mean, we got the W. It's the biggest thing is to get those W's, stack those W's, man. Out of the tree. That was a trick. Yeah, Everybody. Yeah, was. Odell had that um, Dom with Hawk Boss out there. It's about Odell. Just waking up. Shit, nah, that shit. Hit a street basketball. Listen, listen, listen. What the hell are we? <laughs> so this, this is the hood? This is the hood to the side. This is my hood to the side, for real. What is it? What is it like, what? Hey, I got next. We got next. Hey, I got next. <laughs> hey, I got next. <laughs> <laughs> Do the enemy run. Mississippi, this bitch. 
Play aggressive, play fast, play strong, play under control. All right, let me go out here and warm up. We got to get a good warm up. Get our legs going, get our blood going. All right, and make sure we're disciplined. Make sure if I'm going on to the goals, can't just fall on two foot power through. All right, take advantage of every opportunity. Sophomore year, we went to Houston. I remember it like yesterday, man. And it's just one of those experiences that you never forget. I don't think nobody from that team forgets what we did in Houston, like won all those games and then the experience we had after going to the Rockets game and all that. And I think going to Long Beach, Mississippi, it was just an experience for the guys, right? To experience something different. Uh, we played Moss Point, a team out of Mississippi. It was the Louisiana, Mississippi uh, challenge. So. I just think it was a confidence builder for the guys, especially after losing to Bonneville. We went over there, we got a good, good win. Guys saw the ball go through the net, um, and guys got their confidence back. That we're simply, listen, we're a great team. We're a good team. We have to realize that. Like, of course, we're playing really, really good competition, and we're right there. We're right there from being where we're supposed to be. Five points at Zachary, five points Bonneville, three points Liberty, three, uh, like, we're right there. We just gotta keep on pushing, bro. Um, but I think, like I said, it was just a confidence builder. I mean, Tyler's gonna continue to be Tyler. Everett's gonna continue to be Everett. Don Traver's gonna continue to be him. And just my guys, Terrell's gonna continue to be Terrell. And the rest of the guys, man, just gotta fill their roles, man. Just yeah. We understand where we should be. We understand where we wanna be. So it's just about working until we get there, right? And I think the Long Beach, Mississippi um, experience was something for the guys to build their confidence back up and just to experience something different. It was a good win, though. It was a really good win. They talk, they talk trash. I'll let you get to it. I saw that and one you had. Very, very good and one. It was a pivotal part of the game. What, what were you thinking when you went up? I wanted to dunk it, really. Yeah. Because I, I told him that. You wanted to dunk it? He, he told me to dunk it. I heard him up and down. And I said, oh, hey, I saw a couple of plays where you got in the paint, you slowed down, you dropped uh, Don Traven off, I believe, and then another play you got an and one. What were you thinking? You know, at this point, I had to slow the game down, you know, play with pacing. Yeah. You don't want to get speed up, you know. Keep my head Ladies and gentlemen, this is Man and Ellis with Never Be Defeated Media. I have Everett and I have. I'm just here so I won't get fined. <laughs> you had a what? I had a 20 ball. Okay. Just take the walk, wait. Uh, you had a what? I had a 20 ball. This, uh, you know how much of a I had? Bro, you, I think you had like 10. Put them lights on, son. You always doing something menace like. Y'all some scary ass. I mean, y'all scared. Yeah, you always doing something crazy. Not Johnny, it, Johnny, thank you for recording, son. But how do you use up the entire battery of a camera that's on 100%? It went on 100%. Lies. I swear it was. It was on 90 A boat parade. Bro, this camera. Son, this camera litty, bro. I might have to start recording oh, this job. Yeah, joint. bro. They do out of beef. Hey, why, I got a question. Why is Coach B carrying the water? Because Johnny. Yeah, Johnny left it. What? Johnny left it. Coach B, let me see that. I, I, was, I was the only one in the area with brains. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, we don't, I don't want to run, so you know I'm going to just grab it. You, know? you don't want to run, bro. No, not at all. That's why I don't say nothing. Now, when I put that water down, get on the baseline. <laughs> nice and calm, like.
second day of the Big Dave Classic, y'all, we had North Central on that Friday, man. And let me tell you something, that was a really, really good game, bro. In the first half, uh, the first quarter was really, really stagnant for both teams, uh, we're taking bad shots, and just wasn't making some of the open shots that both teams had, right? But then the second quarter, both teams settled down. I mean, we started getting to the rim. Don Traven started off really, really well. Getting to the rim for us. Zion hit a couple of three balls, racked to the three ball. And then Trey was really, really good on the glass. So I think, you know, it's just understanding. And I think it's harnessing those emotions, right? And understanding that you can't get too hyped for a big game, right? Because if you get too hyped, you let your emotions take the best of it. And if you do that, you're going to be out of your game. It's just about realizing that it's, a, it's one game, it's a regular game, stay in the routine, do your regular stuff, and you'll be fine, right? And I think the first quarter was a testament to that. Um, second quarter, we, like I said, we began to settle down, we began to, we began to make shots. Zion hit a big three to put us up um, two. But we come out to half, and it's 24-24, but that's, that's, another, that's another reason, that's another thing for another day. But I think the momentum we had in that first half was just really telling, and it propelled us forward in the second half. Y'all, the third and fourth quarter was just like a, a, a slug fest. Like a slug fest nonetheless, man. I think the biggest mistake that we made um, in that third quarter, we were up seven, y'all, with I wanna say 47 seconds left, and we had two turnovers, right? And, and two and ones that we gave North Central. And that seven point lead that was really, really good for us going into the fourth was cut down to one, right? So we have to learn how to close quarters better. Right, you have to learn how to close quarters. Instead of it being a one-point game, it should have been a ten-point game. Right? If you got a ten-point game going to the fourth quarter, you're feeling good. You could your your entire game plan changes if it's a ten-point game going into the fourth rather than a one-point game. I mean, y'all guys understand it's simple. It's simple basketball here. So going into the fourth quarter, it's a nip and tuck game. I mean, and it just came down to who made shots. Right? I think um, number zero for North Central hit a big three coming off the screen, and number eleven hit a big three off a of pick and pop. And they went up four. I think that was the ball game right there. Because it was nip and tuck. 
So I think, you know, it's just another learning experience. I, I just feel like we're right there to getting over that hump. And once we do, once the guys figure out how to win, right? Because as coaches, you can put them in the best position as possible. But guys have to figure out how to win. Guys have to believe that they can win. Guys have to um, utilize their talents in a proper way in the form of a, a unison form with their team in order to win basketball games. And once those, once those guys learn how to do that and it clicks for them, it's gonna be real, real spooky. So I just think we gotta continue to work, y'all. We're four and three on the year, I wanna believe. So, I mean, we got a whole bunch of basketball left. I mean, we got 23 games left, y'all, in the regular season. I mean, anything can happen, man. It's just this learning experience that we continue to get that we could build on is just, like this, this game was about closing, closing the quarter. And y'all gonna see in the next episode how we got better at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mastering the Game, episode 23, man. 23 chapters. Chapter 23, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna continue to bring this um, content to y'all. I have a Como game in the stash, and I also have, we have, we're going to Bro Bridge on Friday. That's gonna be a big game for us as well, so. We just gotta continue to push. Continue to push, continue to work, man. It's, going, it's a long, long season. It's early December. And like I said, man, we in this for the long haul. We in this for the long haul, man. These guys have been working really, really hard and I feel like these guys are gonna get what they deserve. And that's an opportunity at a state championship. So continue to build, continue to stack those days and we'll see what happens, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. The likes help me in the algorithm. All right, the subscribers help me grow the channel. All right, so listen, y'all. North side of the city, man. Never be defeated again. See y'all next time.